After tempering, the next stage is to start to clean up the hands. And what we are wanting to do is just to remove any tags, anything that was left over from the cutting out of the hands. And on these particular hands, because they're made of hardened steel, we now have to use these diamond files in order to cut off the tags. So now we have the hand finished and uh, what we have just done is to remove all the rough edges around the scalloped tip here and then also around the back of the um, boss for the hand. So the next stage is to start to sharpen up all these corners. So if you see down here we have a curved area in there, same on the other side and then coming up to this scalloped tip Again we have a curved radius, likewise down here it's all curved. So what I have to do now is go in with a file, um, a diamond file and also some degusset and just to sharpen and clean out all these radiuses here. For the next stage we can remove this wooden peg and replace it just with a round piece of 4mm pegwood which we've pre-prepared to take the various shapes and styles of hands that we finish. So we can just clamp this piece in here. And this will give me a very good solid resting place. And then to hold the hand, because we need to rock the hand through an angle, we can grip the hand by its boss into this pin vise. And it just now means that we have far more control over how we can hold and manipulate the hand underneath the file. And so now resting on the wooden peg, we can now start to remove those burrs from around the boss. And turning the hand onto its edge, again we can try and just sharpen up those corners with a quick stroke of the diamond file. Always remembering though, to check to make sure that you are not cutting into the metal. You are only removing the um, fillet shape which is up against the boss of the hand. Okay, so that's rough down there. Now we can just work around the tip of the hand here. So now what I've done is um, I'm just sharpening up the where the boss meets the uh, tapered section to the main body of the hand and if you just notice all the time I'm rocking the hand towards me but also I'm moving the degusset stone around the radius of the boss and this just helps to maintain a very nice sharp corner and also to make sure that all the edges nicely blend into each other. So I'm happy with that now and um, we can just clean up the side of the hand here. Just the initial cleaning, removing the 
oxidisation from the um, heat treatment of the hand. And that's starting to look a bit more presentable. So the next stage is now to clean up around the tip, the scallop tip of the hand. And this is very tricky because we're trying to keep to the profile around here and then also to blend in along this straight edge here. <laughs> 